Hey guys, it's Cam for 15 back at it with another video for you guys. And I'm back from another classroom of the elite episode review for you guys. Um, sorry for getting this video out late um, yesterday uh, or late today. It, was, it came out a day um, yesterday because I'm recording this video on Tuesday and it's going up on Tuesday. So yeah, that's kind of the thing. Um, I keep forgetting that Classroom of the Elite keeps coming out on Monday and it comes out early Monday morning too. So when it comes out early Monday morning, I'm pretty much just getting ready. And by the time like it's like two or three, I realize, oh yeah, Classroom of the Elite was today. Um, mind you too, I'm in like the midst of replaying like damn near every, well not every Sonic game, but every main series Sonic game known to man um, and stuff like that. So that's the thing. And then I also applied for a new job as well. Um, but you know, personal life, you, that's what you deal with. But, um, this class from the elite episode was, uh, really good and really interesting and stuff like that. With the fact that we get kind of the reveals of, uh, the traitor who I guess ruined it for everybody of the class from the last, from, I guess, from the last thing on the cruise ship. And then I guess you can say Ayana Koji also put in place or put, uh, Susan or Horikita in her place in terms of, trying to make her realize uh, she can't get a big picture of not trusting others in terms of this uh, sports festival and stuff like that. So, uh, yes. Also, another groundbreaking news, if you didn't know already, but if you're fans of the English dub for um, Classroom of the Elite, well, the English dub um, is now out for Classroom of the Elite Season 2. Um, I only watched like i think a, a, like just the beginning part of the of episode one um you can watch um this on either funimation or crunchyroll um and stuff like that if you have a verb account which verb is pretty much dead but i still have it because it's technically still crunchyroll whatever verb and crunchyroll pretty much the same exact thing um but like i said um if you have any of those streaming websites you're more than welcome you're more than likely um, can watch them right then and there. And again, you're more you're gonna have to have a premium subscription to be able to watch um, the dub episodes um, and stuff like that. Um, now, surprisingly, when I looked on Funimation late last night, it, they dropped both episodes one and two. Now, this is on the Funimation app. On Crunchyroll, I didn't see that. Um, I don't know if Funimation by mistake accidentally dropped two episodes, but. Um, they're there, I'm guessing, unless they fix that issue. But uh, you can watch the first two episodes of Classroom the Elite Season 2 dub and stuff like that. Um, it's been a while since I've watched the first season's English dub, so I don't remember if the exact characters are the same voice actors or unless they changed them or something. All I know is that Ayana Koji is played by Deku's English dub voice actor, which is Justin Briner. But again, like I said, we're not here to talk about the English dub. Um, this week's episode, um, so we're getting back, everybody's back into the normal school thing, and we find out what the next pretty much test is, and it's just pretty much a sports festival, so there's all these events and everything that you can participate in, and there's going to be two different teams, there's going to be a red team, and there's going to be a white team, um, Again, Ramon, again, if I make a mistake, you can more than you're more than welcome to put in the comment section. Again, I didn't rewatch this episode um, before I made my review. I just straight up just remember the story points um, and then watch a little bit of other people's reviews just to refresh my memory. But I believe um, our class, our classroom D is on the white team, unless they're on the red, I, whatever. Correct me in the wrong, but I know they're on one of the, they're on the red team and they're alongside all right, they're along, they're on one of the t colored teams, and they're alongside Class A, while Class C and B all be the ones um, working together. And pretty much there is these events and everything. We have like these voluntary events and these mandatory events. Now, obviously you have to do the mandatory events, but the thing that makes it interesting is that the voluntary um, the vo the voluntary events they actually in a way kind of provide and add a little bit extra more points right then and there so it's pretty it's a kind of a unique thing going on here and stuff like that and pretty much to teach now the class is not down to do it because some of them are obviously not athletic enough but the teacher kind of you can kind of say uh bribes them in going by saying well i'm going to uh, add a nice little extra credit stuff on your next exam and stuff like that which obviously 
you're hearing this in school and you're in school of course you're gonna take any means of extra credit and stuff like that I always remember when I would be in high school and the teacher would be like, you do this for extra credit. It would depend on what grade I would have in the class. Like, and if I was wanted to actually not be lazy and actually go do it. But typically if I got extra credit, I'll, I, I take it and stuff like that. Well, in the meantime, you know, we find out also if, you know, some of these students felt like to get to the, like, they're like the bottom half of participants and they just absolutely suck. Well, then they're at they're they're freaking going to get points taken off their next exam, which I'm like, shit. So that means the player, the, that means the, the, these guys, the kids have to do really good. The people in the classroom have to do really good. And that's when it kind of comes to this whole thing of like, how are they going to handle, you know, this whole thing? Now, we have it to where Horikita, she has her own stance um, on the subject. But then all of a sudden, we have it to where Kay actually, you know, rebuttals and say, no, that's not beneficial to pretty much everybody here in the class. It's only benefiting you pretty much. Um, and it's kind of a whole thing there. And then, you know, things ensue, you know, Kushieta gives her thoughts. And then lo and behold, there's pretty much a whole, you know, vote on how things are going on um, and stuff like that. And it ends up being Horikita's Hor way of, uh, you know, and I guess in a way of, you know, them potentially going with her ID and stuff like that. But we find some inner dealings of the fact that Ayana Koji, he's got a lot of, you know, let's just say this guy is always be lurking behind the scenes and everything. And it's funny because, you know, when the vote was going on, Horikita looked at him like, you're not going to vote in stuff like that and he's like i'm just watching dude i don't really care i'm not taking any sides to be honest and this is when we kind of find out our boy ayana koji well this dude let's just say um my goodness this guy he's just again he's a ma he's a mastermind in disguise yo just a straight up mastermind this guy we this guy pretty much finds out and you know our the first mastermind trick is he actually made K be the one to be instigating this whole argument with Horikita on her stance and everything. Like he sent her an email like, hey, challenge Horikita's um, point at the same time. Also, um, get find a way to get Kushida involved in this discussion as well. Um, and it's just crazy because when he's having this talk with uh, K, um, pretty much, um, you know, Kay's like, why would you make me do this? Because I kind of even, I, I kind of actually sided with Horikita, and he's like, listen, you know, I just, just do what I tell you, pretty much. And she's like, are you like legitimately this smart and everything? Are you saying you're like smarter than everybody? And he's pretty much like, well, I'm not gonna really tell you that because I'm just trying to keep that to myself, and I'm just trying to pretty much be behind the scenes. So that's up to what you want to believe, pretty much. Um, at the same time, he also not only reveals to Horikita, but he reveals to Kay that, oh yeah, um, the same thing that happened on the cruise ship is going to same thing that's going to happen here in the sports festival. There's going to be a traitor from within our class that's going to leak out information to the other side and pretty much try in a way to get us to lose. And we see at the end of the episode, when as he's telling Horikita, that traitor is Kushieda. Now I'll get to that in a quick second. Um, but it really goes to show you how Ayana Koji, he's pretty much using K to his advantage. Um, just from the standpoint, in a way, he saved her. So, of course, in a way, she's going to try to, in a way, she's going to rely on him a bit more, like a puppy, I guess you can say. But that's all part of freaking Ayana Koji's big plan to try to uh, pretty much surprise everybody and everything but you have it at the end at the end of the episode he's doing this three-legged race with uh susan a and pretty much he kind of shows her up like he's going fast and he's like why don't you just look at the pace that we're going and stuff like that and pretty much i know coach you in a way is telling um susan a like you shouldn't try to do your own thing just for your own benefits when in reality we're trying to help out the entire the all the uncaught and that the entire class needs to do this and you need to value other people's opinions and stuff like that you shouldn't just shun their opinion and say no your opinion isn't valid because it's not the way i would take it you know it's ayana koji pretty much telling susan a you might you want to listen to others before maybe 
you know, you just implement your straight up plan because maybe somebody else has a potential better opinion or a potential better idea to go about a situation compared to yours. And then obviously he tells her about the whole traitor thing with Kushida. It doesn't shock me that Kushida would be the traitor and the fact that she was the person leaking out this information. She is a double face, two face, you know what? Um, this is the same character that is faking it like um, freaking Ayana Koji pretty much R worded her um, and did sexual assault on her or something like that. So it doesn't shock me that she would be this character because, like I said, she's a two timing, you know what, female dog. But we'll see where this is going. The story is very, getting very freaking interesting and stuff like that. I'm definitely going to see how this uh, sports festival is going to be turning out. But um, other than that, I'm going to got it for you guys. If you guys like the video, leave a like. Put in the comment section your thoughts on this week's episode of Class from the Elite. Again, sorry for getting this video off a day late. But hey, you guys are checking it out and you like the content. Hit that subscribe button if you want to get more Class from the Elite content or any other any other anime content I upload to the channel, as well as hit that subscribe button or hit that notification bell icon so you're up to date with whatever, whatever I upload to the channel. Till then, guys, hopefully, it goes a great rest of your day or not. I'm this video. Till then, guys, peace.